Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Coasters of a Thrill here for another vlog here. And today we're here at Busch Gardens Tampa and you can actually see they're actually putting uh, Hollow Scream stuff, which this has actually just been put up just recently. And they're already advertising this already, which is uh, pretty insane. Today is actually Wednesday, uh, August 28th. Um, we're doing this video, so it should be interesting. They actually have are putting up the lights up for uh, Hollow Scream as well. So uh, let's get into today's visit here for Busch Gardens Tampa. It should be a great visit altogether. So without further ado, uh, let's get into today's visit here at uh, Busch Gardens Tampa. All right, so we made it inside the park with actually no little problem at all. And uh, as you see, we are officially in the park here and uh, haven't been, well, for a good uh, full day here, I guess you could say. But uh, real quick, as we uh, go over here, they actually added the uh, Phoenix Rising on the map right now, which is actually, I just added there, which is actually uh, very cool. You can see uh, Phoenix Rising just got added on the map, uh, which was actually pretty recently. But uh, I guess we're gonna start over at uh, Iron Gwazi, basically just because we do need to get on the uh, coaster. And it just feels right to do that very first because uh, last time it is kind of hot. I hope it's actually it's actually warmed up uh, very good, and uh, she'll be interesting. So we're we'll still over there to uh, Iron Gwazi right now. All right. So as you can see, they have the barber and barbecue going on. You can see Iron Gwazi is actually going down right over there right now, and uh, it looks like no, there's actually no line for it. So uh, we're actually going to go over to Iron Gwazi right now, and uh, hopefully we can get a uh, ride on. Uh, hopefully it's a five minute wait and get, get some rides on it. Uh, a couple of times see the station's actually not bad i just saw in the area right there so uh let's go to iron guazi all right guys iron guazi is only a uh, five minute wait so uh, this is a good time to marathon this as, as much as we can and here it goes over there so uh, let's go on iron guazi all right here we go Uh, Iron Gwazi not that long ago and uh, was actually uh, run running uh, very more decent than the last time I actually uh, rode Iron Gwazi which is actually uh, very good and it was actually more running uh, pretty more uh, better so uh, yeah I might get another round on it very soon so uh, we'll see what happens. Well I guess it's so dead today that they actually shut down the whole entire uh, Zagora Cafe. I don't know if they're renovating, renovating it or something but it's actually shut down so you actually have to go down this path instead of just going through uh, Zagora Cafe for today. I don't know if it's just because of uh, Low staffing, it is a Wednesday in August, so it could just, depending on that, so uh, pretty interesting, but we're actually gonna go over to um, maybe Egypt, uh, maybe, but uh, we will see. All right, so uh, as we uh, go through here for uh, Bacharin's Tampa, we're actually gonna go over to, uh, I don't know if we're just gonna go over to uh, Egypt. I do need to go back over to Phoenix Rising and uh, showcase that area, which we will do in, uh, and uh, very few so uh, stay tuned for that so we're gonna go over to uh, probably montu and because uh, we do need to take full advantage of this because today is a dead day today because it is it is a wednesday in august so uh, we'll see what happens so you can see uh, cheetah going over there in the background you can see more uh, hollow scream stuff that has popped up around here and you can see uh, it's got one of the campground uh, scares over there which we'll get there uh, very shortly but uh very interesting how they actually have this all around here as you can see and uh, you can see some interesting things that has popped up see a cheetah hunt over there so uh we're gonna go over here and uh, hopefully and uh, see what we could do so yeah see uh they have a thing it says hollow scream for uh, 25 years this event has been uh, going around you can see a picture thing over there with the with the advertisement there so uh we're gonna head over to uh montu or uh, cheetah hunt. cheetah hunt is actually uh should not be a bad way time at all so uh we should we might as well just go over there just for the heck of it so uh we will see all right, we just did uh, Montu not too long ago. I think this uh, shading right here is actually part for the hollow scream thing. I might be, oh, it's actually not, I might, yeah, I was wrong there. But uh, as you see, just like uh, last year, you can see uh, Stringerwood, Stringerwood, uh, he stayed over here for the house that's gonna come out. There was actually like, a, there was actually an event where there was like a lights on tour that was just uh, 
recently, which was actually back in July. But you can see we just did uh, Matsu and uh, Cobra's Curse back over there, which was actually uh, very good. So we're gonna head over to uh, maybe the Sky Ride or Cheetah Hunt, just because it is a five minute wait. So uh, we'll see. Of course, since it's uh, Hollow Scream, they have this up for the uh, the Voodoo stuff over here. You can see, which is for part of the. I think it's actually gonna be a, a scare zone. I was actually going to be over here, which was from the previous years ever since uh, 2021. But Cheetah uh, Hunts is actually a five minute away, which is actually uh, very cool. And uh, and uh, we might do the uh, the sky ride as well. So because uh, you know haven't done that in uh, quite some time, so it should be interesting. All right, next up is going to be the uh, sky ride. It's actually going to be his first time doing this in uh, quite some time. So uh, yeah, I've been on here in uh, probably about a couple of months. So I guess we're going to do this again. So uh, it should be interesting. So as you can see, we're on the, uh, the sky right. You can see some of the uh, scare zone props are actually uh, down over there, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. But I actually think the uh, Serengeti Flyer is actually uh, closed today. You can see the the walls are actually up, so I don't even think uh, Serengeti Flyer is actually even running today, which is actually uh, pretty interesting. But see, so, yeah, there goes uh, Cheat Hunt over there, and uh, yes, yeah, uh, Serengeti Flyer is not running. So uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty uh, interesting and, and, uh, and unfortunate. But uh, anyways. All right, see uh, Phoenix Rising, which is gonna go down there in just uh, a few minutes. I don't know how well you can actually uh, see Phoenix Rising, but it's actually there. So uh, it's actually going right now, which we'll actually get right on that and uh, very, very shortly here. So uh, yeah. All right, so as you see uh, here is a good uh, landscaping for uh, Phoenix Rising, as you can see, and. Uh, very cool if you were uh, if you saw the POV of this, which was uh, pretty recent. You can actually uh, see this over here, and uh, they actually recently added a uh, net to uh, Phoenix Rising. Phoenix uh, Rising because of uh, because uh, flying objects could uh, fly anywhere. You can see they actually added a net over here, as you can see, which is actually uh, pretty interesting and all the cool texture. We will get on a ride on Phoenix Rising uh, very soon, so uh, it should be interesting. All right, we just did the uh, sky ride not too long ago, and it was actually uh, to get uh, views of uh, Phoenix Rising. It is uh, kind of hard to see uh, the, one of the entrances for uh, the sky ride, which was for the uh, Salingville um, entrance. But uh, as you can see, they actually have uh, some stuff up here for uh, Hollow Scream, as you can see over here. And uh, we are going to try to go over to uh, Shikara or maybe Tigris if they are actually open. So uh, you can see uh, the flume, which is over here. So uh, pretty interesting. And they actually have a thing that they're actually uh, setting up, which I think is gonna be one of the bars that they're actually gonna do here for uh, Hollow Scream, as you can see, which is actually right down over there. So uh, pretty interesting. All right, so we're gonna go over, excuse me, there uh, to uh, Tigris. And uh, haven't been, uh, you can see as he goes over here. And uh, yeah, haven't been on this in uh, quite a while actually. So let's to go back on this. All right, we just did uh, Tigris uh, not that long ago, and it was actually got the back row, and it was actually uh, did pull a whip there, so that was actually uh, very great. And uh, by the looks of it, it's uh, hopefully uh, we're gonna go see it. Hopefully, maybe do the the Selling Falls Flume to uh, cool off, maybe. But uh, we will see and uh, stay tuned. All right, next stop is going to be uh, Shikara, and it uh, should be interesting on this coaster, and hopefully we can get the front row, but we'll just have to see here in a minute, but uh, pretty interesting, and we did, the only two uh, dive coasters I actually ever ridden was uh, Griffin, I believe it is, I don't think I've ridden any other uh, dive coaster, which is actually uh, pretty shocking there, but uh, we're going to go on Shikara, and it uh, should be interesting. And second thought, yeah, that line was a little too long, like a Saturday line, and it was backed up, or not the stairs, but one of the stairs and I don't really want to go with uh, waiting that because there is because you know I just came here for low crowds but and the uh, log flume is kind of long too so uh, yeah all right so uh, you can see we are actually in uh, Jengal where the huge uh, rumor where they might be adding a, a new coaster here most likely but uh, we do need to go over to Scorpion because there was a lot of updates for on that but you can see the uh, Jangala is still here, and uh, you can see they're still advertising the free beer, which is probably going to go away pretty soon for uh, Jangala. But uh, pretty interesting what the future will be uh, holding on here for uh, Jangala. So uh, pretty interesting. So yeah, I don't really know what the future will hold for the Jangala. 
and uh, it should be interesting for the future, so uh, stay tuned. So as you see, uh, Congo River Rapids, which uh, this one uh, just uh, recently uh, opened back, because if you remember by the recent vlogs, they actually had a sinkhole, and it actually does feel nice to go in this area, because there, excuse me, there, there is a mist over here, which makes it more cooler since it is hot, and it is, actually does feel uh, very nice. And you can see uh, Kumba over here, I did see it was actually gonna close at 6 p.m. today. So we might as well go ahead and uh, get a ride if it's, uh, if it is open. So uh, should be interesting and uh, yeah. See the Carl River Rapids is actually uh, going down over here. And that's actually cool. And you can see the Carl River Rapids is actually a shorter wait time, which is actually uh, very cool because it is, uh, it is hot. We might, might as well, we might do that a little bit more later on here, so uh, stay tuned for that maybe. But but then, as of course, as you can uh, see over here, um, yeah, that's actually uh, pretty interesting. And as you see, they actually have machines. You can actually squirt the people that go on by over here, which there's actually none going on this uh, for this time, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, one thing. And then uh, Kumba is actually open, and I think it's actually a walk-on, so uh, might as well go on that. All right, so we just did uh, Kumba not that long ago, and I'm gonna go over to uh, Phoenix Rising and uh, go on that uh, coaster and uh, showcase that area for the very first time, and hopefully get our final rides on uh, Scorpion as well. So uh, it should be interesting. All right, so as you see, we're in uh, Pantopia. You can see there's actually some, uh, there's a construction wall, which is actually right over here. Uh, you don't really know uh, what they're doing over here, which is actually uh, pretty interesting, but we're actually going to go over to uh, Phoenix Rising. And it's only a five minute wait, so I mean, come on, it's not, that's not too bad. Let's get our more, let's get our ride on uh, Phoenix Rising, probably give you on-ride footage of the ride. And uh, it should be interesting. And uh, let's go on uh, Phoenix Rising over here. All right, so uh, we're going to go over to uh, Phoenix Rising over here. And maybe get a couple of rides on this. Uh, we might do that, so it uh, should be interesting. And uh, here's entrance, and this is going to be showcasing this for the uh, the very first time here. So, uh, see, they're actually putting up some stuff for uh, Hall of Screen, I believe, which is going to be one of the houses. And then, as you see over here, this is going to be the entrance sign over here. And then, uh, here we go, we're in uh, Phoenix Rising over here. So, we're going to showcase this area. I haven't really showcased this before, but uh, well, we did do that on the POV, but uh, pretty nice uh, things that they uh, have over here. And uh, very cool, let's go on the ride. All right, we just did uh, Phoenix Rising not too long ago and it was actually uh, very good. I got the, at least near the middle seat here and it was actually uh, very good and uh, very, it's not the, it's not like too, like too much ex extreme, but it's still a good addition here for people getting into coasters over here, which is actually uh, very good. And uh, it's actually uh, pretty interesting how they actually have this all around here and a uh, pretty good ride another than the last. And then right over here, you actually uh, exit out through a uh, gift shop, which is actually over here, as you can see. You can see of all the, uh, the merch. And uh, pretty much this is where you exit with, which, which, which if you uh, watch the the, uh, the original vlog, which was uh, pretty much recently, this was what we uh, showcased. And uh, yeah, so then over here, you can see that there is the, uh, this is the whole entire uh, coaster layout, which is actually right over here. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool addition here. And uh, you can see, uh, if it will uh, go right now, that's actually uh, very cool. But uh, you can see there's actually like a difference over here. And then over here, you can see they actually opened up the uh, the carousel, which is, if you remember, there was actually a temporary entrance and they fully opened up where the entrance is supposed to be. And uh, very cool. And then this is a B&M uh, suspended coaster over here. And uh, very cool, you see all the different Phoenixes, which is over here as well, which is actually uh, very cool with all the different things you can actually get on the ride. So uh, very cool. And of course, this is the uh, the test seat. If you want to test it over here, and uh, very cool how they actually have this all around here for uh, Busch Gardens Tampa. All right, guys. Well, it looks like uh, Scorpion will be uh, closing soon on Labor Day here. So this is our this is going to be the final rides of uh, Scorpion we're about to do, and uh, it's very cool. It's gonna it's gonna be very. This is gonna be the very last time we're actually gonna ever see this whole entire structure right over here, which is kind of you know it is what it is, but. Yeah, this thing is going to be closing soon. And whatever new addition that's going to come to Busch Gardens Tampa should be interesting, but time will tell what they will what they will put over here. And uh, you can see this is Scorpion, and this is going to be the very last time we're going to see this. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, but you see Sheikah going in the background there. But uh, 
yeah, it's gonna be the very last time and uh, might as well try to showcase everything over here. And uh, yeah. So, yeah, this thing is uh, gonna be closing. There was only like a week's notice. Uh, before they actually uh, close this and it's going to be closed down for good so hopefully if we're lucky enough we might get a front row uh, ride so let's go over there real quick all right we just did uh, scorpion for the very very last time and uh yeah it was actually uh, very good the very last ride that we were gonna have on it and uh, yeah it was a uh, got the actually got a front row pov which i'm actually shocked so that's actually good so uh yeah, the last time we're gonna see this whole entire structure over here so uh yeah well one thing uh, that one ride that actually is closed is actually uh, falcon's fury so uh yeah it's actually closed uh, probably heard it got struck by lightning twice so uh yeah yeah so yeah falcon's fury is uh still closed here so uh yeah i mean it's uh, it is what it is but <clears throat> excuse me there but uh, we're gonna go over to uh yeah, to uh, showcase more of uh, Hollow Scream, so uh, stay tuned. So yeah, as you see, uh, Sargate Flyer is actually closed, I think it's for some scheduled maintenance. <laughs> but the thing is, I actually see some uh, some rain clouds, so uh, yeah, it's not gonna look good here, but we're gonna try to go over to Iron Gwazi, hopefully, and you can see there is the uh, part of Hollow Scream over here, as you can see. And uh, pretty interesting. It's like the it's from like the Sin Zombies from last year, I think. But some different kind of theming around here, so uh, pretty interesting. All right, you see some more uh, stuff over here for uh, Hollow Scream, and it's pretty interesting. It's like some like like Miami kind of like swamp kind of theme around here, which is uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, this is a. Uh, Something else I can tell you that there's some random noise. I think it's some animal or whatever, but um, yeah. So here's more of the areas around here, and uh, pretty interesting. And uh, yeah. All right. So, so unfortunately, I think the Miami Reserve is actually uh, closed today, and uh, because of the uh, since it's uh, it's an off day, I guess you could kind of say, but. See, there's some uh, scare zones, uh, decorations that are all around here, as you can see over here. And some inter interesting ones, to uh, say the least. It's like a swamp kind of uh, type of thing over here. And just being, this would be interesting to be here in person, but there's a random bench right there. But um, anyways, but then there's a weird thing that I've seen on some videos over here. There's some weird spider web kind of thing on Cheetah, and I still see it. And it is right over here. And yeah, that is uh, pretty interesting. I guess it's just some spider webs I guess gonna be there, but man, kind of weird. There's some stuff over here. Pretty interesting. Back where we all started. again and uh yeah that, that, that was a that's a good coaster highly guaranteed especially if you're in florida and you need to come down and ride that real quick because that coaster just hauls and it's just it's it's just that great of a roller coaster man, i'm telling you but looks like that our day has come to an end here and uh, it was a it was a good visit that uh went to buy here for bush tampa and uh, yeah it was, uh, it was pretty good so uh can't complain yeah, as you can see, it was a uh, pretty good day here for uh, Sharon's Tampa. It wasn't uh, too bad at all. And yeah, yeah Iron Gwazi is running very, very great right now, so I cannot complain about that. So that'll be uh, 
pretty much uh, concluding today's visit. And uh, yeah, that was a good visit I went to buy for uh, Bashar and Tampa. Well guys, it looks like that I'll be doing it here for coasters of the thrills here for Bushner and Tampa. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, but hit that bell notification for any other future uploads that will come on by. And yeah, today was a great visit. If you like videos like this in the future, make sure to stay tuned for more visits that will come on by for theme parks and all that crazy stuff else out there. But until then, uh, we'll catch you later on for Bushner and Tampa. And a great visit all together here for Bushner and Tampa. Until then, this is Coasters of the Thrills. Uh, we'll catch you later.